Good morning, everybody. My name is Antonio Cisneros, and I will be doing the reputation speech against Joshua Beltran and his position on fracking. After looking over his outline and listening to his speeches, I concluded that he's done his research. He knew, he knew what he was talking about. Uh, I won't be able to deny any of his facts because they were all true. Uh, however, uh, I, it will be my job to dismiss or diminish any of them because there were a lot of flaws that he brought forward. One of Josh's major claims was that fracking, uh, fracking con uh, contaminates drinking water. The problem with this is that he represented a surplus of data without actually ever citing anything uh, in the speech. However, even if he did, I also looked up the significance of the effect from an online source from, called Waterworld. <clears throat> it goes to state that 2000, uh, in 2013, uh, they implemented something called a uh, water treatment plant. And because of that, it's deemed almost all necessary, frac it had a specific uh, containment for fraction water. So it, any kind of water containment would actually go straight into, from the fracking into those facilities, clearing any contaminated water. So it makes the problem of contaminated water insignificant and it, diminish, it diminishes any sort of reason for that argument to even be in there from now on. It was also in the same time frame that they brought forward, 2011 to 2014. Uh, continuing my second diminishing point, Joshua stated that there was nine billion gallons of fracking wastewater dumped into the Pacific Ocean, California coast, per year. Let me be clear, I do not at any point condone pollution, I'm totally against that. However, I looked up websites and called in, in references.com and it's concluded that 9 billion gallons is actually only a, a comparison. Okay, the best way I'd be able to illustrate it is that it'd be a cup of water on a football field. And if you guys can understand that concept, it's insignificant to what it actually affects inside the whole of the ocean, specifically even the Pacific Ocean. That's less than the entire ocean, so I don't even want to go into how big that is. <laughs> Due to the neglect, neglecting uh, significance of how minor these issues were, it actually undermines the uh, significance of it being important. One section of the speech, uh, continuing, uh, was con he quoted uh, a study from EHP, Environmental Health Perspectives. It said that 68 private drinking water wells in the Northeast, Pennsylvania, and New York showed that methane contaminates sharpened in the parks near the fracking sites. This article was to push forward his idea. However, I further read into it. It actually did not say that fracturing was actually the main problem of this, in this situation. It was actually a uh, construction, uh, poor, uh, the construction of the poor gas wells, and not the fracking itself. So after reading the article myself, it showed that it was not even significant inside the whole of his speech. So otherwise, another reason to dismiss a piece of his whole speech. Moving on. Uh, he also talks about uh, fracking is prone to toxic spills and leaks, and the speaker had the solid evidence throughout his section, and even cited multiple sources. However, there was a, one section of it that I deemed flawed due to the perceivable misdirection. For my final point, I will talk about his quote from Think Progress, stating that the EPA estimated estimated incorrectly. The Environmental Pro uh, Protection Agency estimated estimation can be easily chalked up to human error. He talked about how it was, their estimations were quoted to be a hundred times worse than predicted. But this is the Environmental Protection Agency, not the actual fracturing companies pr pr uh, producing these surveys. That is not the fracturing company's problem. That is the Environmental Protection Agency's and that could be chalked up to anything due to his lack 
of information of why these errors occurred, it, would, uh, it could be chalked up easily to human error. I appreciate all of your time. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a little confusing at the beginning because it basically sounds like you're saying, yeah, he's right, so I, why are we having an argument about any of this? Except that you do then seem to suggest that there, it's not particularly important. Um, I think you could argue that uh, he's right about some things, but he's wrong about the conclusions that he's making about those particular things. So I'm not going to dispute that there is a lot of water that's used in fracking or that the water gets contaminated. The the inference that is problematic is that this is a danger to the, the environment or a danger to human beings, a danger to our water systems, and in fact it is not for several reasons. And then I think your argument would be a little bit clearer. As it is, that whole opening just was, you know, it sounded like you were taking contradictory positions from in the whole first minute. Sometimes you're going to say, well, yeah, he's right, and sometimes you're going to say, but it's not that important, or, you know, let me tell you why he's wrong. And I'm going, well, which is it? Is it that he's right or that he's wrong? You think, I think you need to be a lot clearer there. Um, I thought that you did a pretty good job trying to apply your arguments to the things that the advocate was talking about, but your claims were not always clear. Mm -hmm. the, um, the, the clearest response that you had was to the water issue where you said, in essence, look, number one, we've got the water that gets fracked gets treated differently and it goes someplace different the, as a consequence. It's a, I assume that you're saying it doesn't go into the water table, it uh, goes to a treatment plant. But that sounds like it's a very specific example. I don't know if that applies to all of the fracking sit sites that the advocate was talking about or just one particular site. And your source on that needs to be a lot more specified because it just sounds like you know, it's a random uh, reference to a treatment area without knowing if that is standard for all fracking sites or whether it's just this one fracking location uh, that where it happens. I, I like the other argument though that you had on that particular point when you're talking about all the fracking on the west coast and you talk about how much water it is and you say let's put this into a context I think that th does diminish the uh, significance of it. It's like uh, if we were talking about uh, a football field full of water, I don't know how deep that water would be on that football field, but it would be like you're dropping a cup of water into that. The likelihood that that's going to be a danger, a harm, or any of those sorts of things, I think, is the way that you're pressing that. Again, uh, I think you do have some references that you suggest are there, but they are not very clearly identified in the speech, so you need to be uh, more specific about that sort of thing. The uh, EPA issue, um, that's a little confusing because it makes it sound like your criticism is of the EPA and not the fracking companies, and I think, I don't know what the, that the advocate's point isn't that the EPA is wrong, it's that, that they've underestimated the risk and so that there really is a much more substantial risk. So instead of talking about whose mistake it was and who's responsible for it, I think the argument really is what's the risk level and you, you don't really address that. I think you've kind of gotten sidetracked on a different issue there and, and you're making a, an argument on a minor issue that is not the most important point on that particular uh, subject. Um, Let's see. Uh, the signposting of the secondary points is okay. Uh, sometimes your challenges are a little bit random. I think they need to be more specifically stated. You need a lot more declarative sentences. You're doing a lot of kind of description and half arguments and half inferences, and it's 
hard to tell sometimes exactly what your position is there. I think when you listen back to your presentation, you'll hear what I'm talking about there. There's a lot of sentences that just seem like they go in the wrong direction or they just stop. And as a consequence, it's hard to tell exactly where it is you're going with your argument. Um, at the end of the speech, I think you want to finish a little bit more forcefully. Uh, you sound like you're bailing out at the end. Uh, just come back to the main point and say, look, fracking uh, it exists. There are some things about it that are not pleasant, but they aren't very significant. They aren't very dangerous, and we're doing things to control those sorts of things. So the idea that this is a problem is way over-exaggerated by uh, the advocate. You know, summarize what your argument is. Don't just say, and, you know, that's what I've got to say. Thank you for listening to me. All right. Thank you for listening to me.